As a political student of history, I must uh, appreciate the efforts of people like Alaji Samadu Bello, uh, Dr. Unavdia Zikiwe, uh, Chief Bafemi Awolowo, and several others who consistently fought for ensuring that we enjoy the current democracy that we do. It was a tough war, it was a tough battle, but yet they did so well. And of course, several others, um, David Okpara, Samuel Akintola, M.A. Makejo Do, do Me, um, several, Dennis Osadebe, Aminu Kanu, Ibrahim Waziri, Shehu Shagari, and several, several others. All of them consistently putting in several of their works, several of their times, to ensuring that we enjoy the benefit of democracy that we can really enjoy. But if we want to have this country better, we must begin to think beyond where they stopped. Because I can tell you for free, politicians that have taken this trajectory, this step, this pedestal, have continually made us go backward than we're supposed to go as a nation. You agree with me that these persons were regional champions, they were regional giants that were projected to the central government by their regions to go and fight, again, fight for the development and growth of their regions. And so that's why as a country, we are in the kind of mess we are in because what we have in the political landscape of this country are regional champions wanting to come and project their regional image in the center. The country cannot go like that. And that's why Mr. Peter Abi did say a while ago that there is a country called Nigeria, but there are no Nigerians. When he was speaking, he did say what I've always said. We have a country called Nigeria, but we don't have Nigerians. What we want to do is to create Nigerians. Thank you, Mr. Peter Obi. What that implies generally is that there are, there are folks in this country whose ideology is about the growth and development of their region and not about the country. And so when they make statements, when they come to the space wanting to become elected official generally, what they see is a picture of their region at the center. And so if you consider all these mentees of uh, these names I have mentioned and sub mentees or proteges of mentees are likely going to run every opportunity that they have with that same initiative of becoming regional champions rather than creating a Nigeria for all. The last time we had a Nigerian who was in government and thought less of his people, thought less of his region, thought less of his state that he has even governed was Dr. Guloke Bele Jonathan. Respect to Alajumaru Musa Yaradwa and of course Chief Olushe Gobasanjo, who continually tried to ensure that Nigerians from all walks of life benefited from their government. I cannot forget in a hurry um, how Chief Olushe Gobasanjo invited the likes of Ungozi Okoji Awiala, Obi Ezekwesili, Dora Akunili, Charles Soludo, and several others from several regions of this country to come to the center and create an enabling environment where ideas and the nation will prosper. He also collaborated with several other countries to reigniting the African Union and several other st structures and systems like the Nepal and several others. What we saw in Muhammadu Bari's government is a is several steps backward away from what we have achieved from Golok Junata. I can remember upon leaving office uh, as president of this country, Golok Billy Junata was almost insulted in South South Nigeria because, as he was told, he spent six years as president of this country trying to develop the North because of a perceived support for his late boss, uh, Maru Musaya Radua. But of course, Mamadou Bari, um, the evil genius, became president and suddenly remembered that there was need for regionalization. The backdrop of, backdrop of this is the fact that videos and pictures of people from Daura and Kassinasti celebrating his return back home is an idea of what a regional champion can be. A regional champion is. If we must progress as a nation, we must go back to the drawing board and determine whether I want to have federating units or regional units developed or want to have a Nigeria that will develop and will spread across the board.
we cannot continue to ask the whole of this country to do an election, to vote in people who will get to power and will concentrate their effort on growing their region. It is high time we started to ask the question for constitutional amendment about asking whether I want to go back to federal system of government, want to stay solemn in what we currently do because this is embarrassing. Upon abolition of the federal unit in 1966, um, August 31st, by Major General Agui Ronsi, of course, I own side. <laughs> It's obvious that we have had, though we have had successive military and civilian government, we never went back to FJT units. We have been deceiving ourselves. And that's why in this country, the Yoruba APC doesn't believe that the Northern APC has done enough for democracy in this country. Because they believe that in 2015, when PDP had sway in this country, it took Yoruba APC to call in the Northern APC to come together to defeat the PDP. And that's why it is today. There is a talk of Yoruba APC and Northern APC. Same way, the Northern Muslim do not believe that Yoruba Muslim is a Muslim at all. <laughs> no, we don't want to say it on social media, but that's the reality on ground. And that's why Christians in the South feel like they are more Christianic than Christians in the North. And that's how Christians in the North also feel like they are paying more sacrifice for the Christian dom because of the environment that they are in and the risk it takes to be a Christian there. And what the southern christians are doing this is grave dissolution grave distractions and of course massive division that we have in everywhere as indigenous of those state i can tell you sitting before political elite and discussing there is still this innate division among us we will never grow like this we will never we must be to tell ourselves the truth i respect what will not be Ezekiel. Somewhere I can tell her. Above me, I will go. So, I'm not going to be David Opara, uh, Dennis Osadebe, all of them. I mean, you can't, all of them are done to the growth of this country. But we are going to take this step forward if we want this country to get better. Oh, we agree that we should develop the regionalization of this country and forget about the central government. That is a problem. Because until we continue to, until we stop deceiving ourselves like this, we will go nowhere. We will go nowhere. Regional championship cannot help this country. We must agree. Because all of us put tasks together, put minds and time together to build this country. And then when it's time for election, we elect people who get to power and what they see is their tribe first. We are complaining that the Binia Uchi Road was not tired. We had a son who was from the south side of this country for six years as president. You cannot compare the state of roads in southern Nigeria to what we have in the north. Regional champions have been in power. And then, yes, and then when you are being told by your people, and that's all Jews Okalu can tell Peter B, that you are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are deceiving these people. Unamani said that you are creating a new trajectory for Igbo extinction from the politics of this country. Regionalization. Regional mindset. It's okay to vote in people and asking which region should produce the next president. But at this point of our country, we need a balanced understanding of who has the capacity to solve our problems. And whoever we elect, there should be a benchmark of what you are supposed to do in the whole of this country. I'm angry! And I must say it. The celebration of Muhammad Ubari in the north, Charlie Kassina State, is an insult to my sensibility. And I'm disappointed. As a man that went to become a president for eight years and did nothing, suddenly he's celebrated in his own because he's a regional champion. I want to see a governor that will get to power and focus more on the on the abundant resources in the state rather than what how he will put schools, lights, university, police station in his own village. Charity, they say, should begin at home. But charity that remains at home was in charity after all. This country is sick. It's in coma. Share this video and let this video get to people that you want to get it to. Tag as many as you want to tag.
we are tired of building regional champions. It is either we agree that we are going back to our regionalization of, of country, build provinces as usual, develop our provinces, let us meet to work with the province, to get results in our province, let there be a challenge of the six different regions or provinces in this country, and let it work like that. Or we agree that we'll forsake this regionalization and go to the central, central government and effect change in the nook and crannies of this country. My name is Mr. Common Sense, and I so rest my case.